All right, guys, welcome back to another Q-Tip Fridays. I know that it's been a while, um, been a good maybe a couple months or so and that kind of stuff. But, you know, I can't really rush this kind of process. Like when it comes to Q-Tip Fridays, I feel like it's just, like the topic has to come to me. And it, if it doesn't come to me, then I'm not going to try to stress the topic. I, I speak on things that I come across and pretty much try to emphasize along those things as much as possible. So the most recent thing was based on like the video that I, I posted a couple days ago. And it was about more people that pretty much think that like, if they have that, that scam type of mentality, they, they don't really get too, too far when it comes to like being an entrepreneur and pretty much being in any field that deals with digital money any kind of way because they think it's a scam, obviously. All right. Um, there's people that pretty much, um, and I found this weird. So I got a message that um, has said, oh, like it's, it's not the people that think that it's a scam. It's the fact that um, people that advertise or show off a certain kind of lifestyle and sells courses, they know that only 10% of the people that they're actually uh, marketing to is, is gonna make it in trade, right? And they were like, why even sell courses when you know that 10 only 10% of the people are gonna pass and get far in trading? I'm like, yo, in my head, I'm like, yo, that's the most dumbest fucking thing I've ever fucking heard. So you're telling me, just because we know that a small percent is gonna, is gonna pass or go to that long route, don't sell courses. You're telling me not to educate people. You're telling me not to like help um, better humanity in, in some kind of way in an industry that's hella hard to even get into. You're telling me not to even make an effort and just accept the fact that only 10% of people go to that route. That's fucking dumb. The issue that I have with this entire thing is that people feel as if like selling courses is bad when in reality, um, all that we're doing is pretty much educating people that don't know a certain thing. If you go to school, you're going to school to do what? Learn something that you do not know. You're taking math classes because you don't you don't know that certain kind of math. You're taking um, a psychology class because you don't know certain types of psychology. You're taking um, a science class because you're trying to actually understand certain types of sciences. Same concept. People that pretty much sell courses, they're just educating you based off of their experience in that certain field. I sell courses based on me being good at what I do and also I'm very, very good at explaining. So like that way I'm, I'm able to give that explanation to somebody that could actually comprehend that type of content that I'm trying to actually give to them. Same concept. Whoever chooses, whoever that 10% is that 10% because of that person's choice. At the end of the day, everyone has the same 24 hours. Everyone has the, the same amount of time to actually give to the certain craft like how we actually gave. Um, everybody's Everybody has the ability to sacrifice certain things to get to an, another point in life. If you do not choose to sacrifice to, to, to sacrifice that, then you're not going to be able to get past that certain boundary of, of something. So obviously, the person that's able to sacrifice more when it comes to try, trying to learn this craft, they gain more out of it. Selling courses is not an issue. It's the person that's buying the course is the issue. They're not willing to go and do everything that it takes to actually get to that certain point. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that... Um, People think that it's a scam because a person sells courses and all these things. Listen, so you're telling me that, or don't show a certain kind of lifestyle. So, so now you're telling me that a person that is selling a course, right, is already beyond that learning curve, beyond the success, beyond making money, um, withdrawing from, from trading, like pretty much taking the fruits of their labor and everything from a craft that they've been studying for, for so fucking long. You're telling them to do not do what they they really want to do with that money. You're saying do not buy a house that, that they've been watching for, qu for quite a while. You're saying do not have um, big parties. Do not buy expensive cars. Do not buy expensive watches. Do not buy expensive trips because you feel a certain kind of way towards that. That's on the person. That's personal. However you feel based on, on a person's success is on you. So if a person follows somebody else and they're intimidated by the kind of success that they've gained that has nothing to do with the person that is successful that has everything to do with the person that is behind that screen watching the other person you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day like it's all about just trying to understand like yo you're seeing all these people on instagram you're seeing all these people on social media on social media they're at the end of the day majority of them are giving off information all right if you are impressed by their skill set why not buy their course so you could gain some of that skill set? It's not like buying a course is, is, is a scam. You're, you're buying education. People see it as a scam because of who is selling it, right? Versus 
if, if, if you're going to a college, you're buying the same concept. You're still buying a class. You still have to get credits. You still have to buy all these things. You, you got to buy college classes. And outside the world, you have to buy classes. You have to buy a, a class for something that, that you do, do not know, which means that you could buy a class in anything. You could buy a class in karate. You could buy a class in, in, in swimming. You could buy a class in, um, in trading. You could buy a class in marketing. All those things is just another thing that a person is selling. To call it a scam, I feel like people are slowly starting to actually call it everything a scam. They're using that word very, very loosely, which gets very, very annoying. If you're paying for something and, and you're not getting something back, then that's a scam. You got scammed. Obviously, if you're paying for something and then you're getting some, some type of content or some type of, of platform based on that payment, you didn't get scammed. However, whatever work ethic you put in, that's what you're going to put out at the end of the day. If you don't go on those, on those, on those courses, don't spend time studying, don't spend time taking notes, don't spend time reviewing all these videos and that kind of stuff. You're going to see that nothing's going to work out for you. You're going to be that person that pretty much spends years and years and years and years trying to learn one, like the same craft that a person learned in like about six or seven months based on that person putting in full effort and you putting in only 10, 10% effort. That's why only 10% pass this entire thing. So if you come across people that are calling others that sell classes and pretty much try to do seminars and that kind of stuff, scams, then clearly they're the person that you do not really want to be around because they don't understand that in the real world, you have to buy things that you do not know. You have to buy education if you're not aware of something, just like anything else, like the school system, you're buying into school because you, don't, you do not know certain things. So obviously you have to go through a certain process to learn that certain thing. Everything is all, it's all the same. It's the fact that who's selling it. You probably see me at how I, I look. I have tattoos everywhere, that kind of stuff. I drive fast cars. I do this. I do this. Like, if a person is intimidated, intimidated by that person's appearance, then that's on them. At the end of the day, this person that has all these tattoos has just as much, probably not even, probably even more value than what you could actually get from a college professor. Because we're actually in the real world. We're not sticking to a certain type of script each and every single year. We're living life, you know what I'm saying? So what we do as entrepreneurs in a person that pretty much sells a, sells a course or sells a class or sell a mentorship, we're, we're literally teaching you how to live the kind of life that we're living in some kind of way. And if you're impressed by that person's results or that person re- results on the charts and results in a person, the person type of lifestyle that they're living in a very, very social setting, then buy that person class. I see nothing wrong with it. Um, I've learned a lot from people that pretty much sell classes in some kind of way. Um, obviously I don't take on every single thing that, that they're doing, but if you know something that I don't know, listen, I'll, I'll buy your, your course to learn that certain thing. All right. So don't, so don't be too egotistical when it comes to this entire niche. You know what I'm saying? Just be, be a person that's open to learning, be a person that, 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 that wants to re- remain a student because till this day I'm a student and I will stay a student until I'm done with my entire industry because there's so much to learn in this industry to the point that. Once you're focused and once you're actually applying yourself as you should, you could get to that point and you could pretty much, you know, get get as rich as you ever wanted to be, be as free as ev- as ever, as ever, you know, travel, have money for your um, kids, have money for your families, families, have money for generations and generations. At the end of the day, like it's really all on you to actually put out that certain kind of work ethic that is needed to actually get to that certain point in life. And once you do, then you can actually become limitless at that point you know what i'm saying so this right here is the first few tips after so long um i hope you enjoyed it i hope you actually learn a lot from it and go inside the comments and give me your feedback peace out all right guys welcome back to another q-tip fridays i know that it's been a while um been a good maybe a couple months or so and that kind of stuff but you know i can't really rush this kind of process like when it comes to q-tip fridays i feel like it's just like the topic has to come to me and it, if it doesn't come to me then i'm not going to try to stress the topic I, I speak on things that I come across and pretty much try to emphasize along those things as much as possible. So the most recent thing was based on like the video that I, I posted a couple of days ago and it was about more people that pretty much think that like, if they have that, that scam type of mentality, they, they don't really get too, too far when it comes to like being an entrepreneur and pretty much being in any field that deals with digital money any kind of way because they think it's a scam, obviously. All right. Um, there's people that pretty much... Um, and I found this weird. So I got a message that um, has said, oh, like, it's it's not the people that think that it's a scam. It's the fact that um, people that advertise or show off a certain kind of lifestyle 
and sells courses, they know that only 10% of the people that they're actually uh, marketing to is, is gonna make it in trade, right? And they were like, why even sell courses when you know that 10 per, only 10% of the people are gonna pass and get far in trading? I'm like, yo, in my head, I'm like, yo, that's the most dumbest fucking thing I've ever fucking heard. So you're telling me, just because we know that a small percent is gonna, is gonna pass or go to that long route, don't sell courses. You're telling me not to.